I'm feeling happy And moments ago I was only empty Hello, I'm Chrissy, a mum, cook, cleaner, popcorn maker, Rudolph headband fixer, record time in food shopper. Yes, if you haven't guessed, I'm winging my way through motherhood, trying my utmost best to have minimal breakdowns and not cry over the fact I can no longer eat cheese. If you're existing, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to the club, the girl gang. Take a seat and enjoy. Don't forget to stick around, check out my other videos, hit that subscribe button and let's catch up in the comments down below. Well, that completely broke my hoover. <laughs> let's try it again, shall we? I made Adam a cup of coffee once, not long after I've done this. <laughs> I think it about killed him. So I highly wouldn't recommend that. Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is to get it all done with me. My kitchen needs a good old clean. So obviously I'm gonna take you with me. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a lush day. And let's get on with the clean, shall we? Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile in the My kettle is disgusting. I don't know if you can see. I like to do this. Yeah, got something stuck in my throat. I like to do this from time to time, and I use the all-purpose Olst descalers, which look like this. They're amazing. You literally boil your kettle, obviously, then unplug it and pop this on for 10 minutes and then rinse. So yeah, I highly recommend it. It says actually on here. It only tells you about coffee. On a kettles. Half fill kettle with water and boil. Do not overfill. Unplug, place an empty sink. Slowly add contents of sachet. Leave for 10 minutes. And if it's really, really bad, you can use two of these sachets. I've always found that one does the trick. So I'm going to do that. Also, remember, once you've done it, reboil your kettle a few times because I made Adam a cup of coffee once. Not long after I've done this, <laughs> and I think it about killed him. So I highly wouldn't recommend that. I don't think this is picking up on the camera. This one's filthy from where the bin is, so I'm just going to give it a quick scrub. I'm just using the flora, but um, be careful, and this scour pad, but be careful what you use because. This paint is kitchen paint, I believe. But some paints, when you scrub them, it scrubs the paint off the wall. So I won't want you to watch this and then do it. And then your paint come off. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble. 
but we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow, but it will still be there. I do. I do get asked this a lot, hence why I'm going to tell you, but I have shiny glass flooring in this kitchen and a lot of people comment and DM me on Instagram on what I use. So flora works okay, but it is a little bit streaky, but the most effortless cleaning product I use for my floor is this. This is the secret ingredient if you have high gloss flooring and to be honest, it works wonders. I use the wood effect one. Yoki one, it's in an orange bottle for my LVT in my lounge and hallway. But this is Method All Floor Cleaner Squirt and Mop. You literally squirt it onto the floor and then I use my Valida spray mop, which doesn't have the spray part to it. And I love this mop so much because you can just buy these, you can wash them, but after a while, a couple of months or so, they go a bit skanky and I love that I can just buy a new one and then you can have spares as well because these get really wet so sometimes if I'm cleaning all my floors in one go which never happens let's face it um, I need to use two of these so yeah they're really really good and one of my good friends is a cleaner and she recommended this as well for when she cleans people's homes so let's get on with mopping the floor <sighs> said no mo ever I hate mopping floors. It's a workout and a half, isn't it? I'm getting my steps in today, that's for sure. No, they don't pick us up. Instead, they knock us down. And that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. I don't want to do this anymore. No, I just want to say hello and do whatever I like. It doesn't matter if they say so. Guys, can we just all appreciate how clean and tidy that is? I feel like a full blown superhero at the moment. However, this keeps following me everywhere. I don't know what it is. I keep finding it in Lily's bedroom and now it's here. It doesn't matter how many times I hoover, it just appears and I have no idea. It's some kind of packaging. I have no idea where it's from. Right, so now that's all clean. It sounds a little bit back to front, but now I'm gonna pull my fridge out, get everything out, give it all a good clean, and then pop it all back again, because I don't know, that's just the way I like to do it. So let's get on with the fridge clean and organize. I always go for the Star Drops all round cleaner when I'm using my fridge, because I don't want anything too harsh. And it's not too bad, judging by the state of it, because I didn't do it that long ago. So I literally just kind of <laughs> throw it on, get it all soapy, and then I'll rinse it off. And then with this ice at the back, obviously be careful. I'll go for one of these. And then if you wet your minky, it'll then grow a little bit more foamy. And then with the trays, and then with the trays, I'll just use the Star Drops cleaner again. You can also use washing up liquid, whatever you prefer. Give them a quick rinse and dry and then pop them all back in. Right, once all the shelves are in, this dress is annoying me by the way, like it's meant to be under and it just sits up here, I don't know why. But yeah, once all the shelves are in, then you can organise your fridge and it makes it a lot easier as it's a blank canvas, it's all nice and clean. I'm not being funny, but look at that. It is quite full, there's no fridge organisers in here. 
because I've tried them out before and I just think they take up quite a lot of space. Um, and where this isn't the biggest fridge in the world, I know exactly what's in there now. I thought I'd run out of ketchup, but it was lurking at the back of the fridge. It's always the way, isn't it? So I've got all my condiments and pickles, just a random bit of hummus at the top. All my meals for the week, so I know exactly what's in there. Cheese is ridiculous in this house at the moment because my kids love cheese, but I'm dairy free. So we've got ridiculous amounts of cheese. <laughs> and just the pepperamis and then here yogurt same with yogurts on dairy free so we've got a ridiculous amount of yogurts because my kids both love them as well and adam and then in here i've just got my fruit and veg so I've got my tomatoes my cucumbers this will go down in all fairness um it's just full because i only did a food shop not long ago and then i've got my like pickles my jams and things here my eggs do you put your eggs in the fridge comment down below the organizer that came with the fridge only fits six so i just literally cut the top off and pop it all the way in then like medicines and things and then milk i didn't have a chance to clean this section because i've run out of time today but i will just give that a quick wipe over it doesn't take long at all but yeah i'm pretty happy with that if i'm being honest well that was eventful wasn't it um i hope you enjoyed this video if you're here and you've stayed right till the end that means the absolute world thank you give this video a big thumbs up Hit that subscribe button, become part of the club, let's do it together. Pop a suggestion in the comments down below of what you'd like to see next because I absolutely love getting suggestions from you. And yeah, I'm gonna go, put my feet up, have the nicest cup of tea because I'm feeling it. But obviously I'm gonna boil my kettle about 1600 times beforehand because I don't wanna get poisoned. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon, much love. Oh, what have I got coming up this week? So, this week I've got coming up what I eat in a day, as that's been really requested, and I thought, why not? That's new for me. And I've also got some more organisation videos, so hit that notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload. And yeah, exciting. I've also got some hauls coming, guys. Don't worry. If you're here for the hauls, they're coming soon. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Much love.